This is a viewer supported show and I thank all the lovely viewers and especially the supporters on Patreon. Hi there and welcome back to Boat My Grill. It's another week and it's time to keep on working with the roof again. I think we are getting into the last two three episodes of the roof. Today I am going to make sure that the uh, uh, supports for the windscreens are put back and prepare the last things for fiberglassing on the inside. It's not much left to do, just a little bit of sanding and then uh, start cutting fiberglass actually. So I hope we can uh, lay the fiberglass this week. If you want to support my channel and me, uh, make sure to hit the little subscription button down here on your right side and the notification bell. And also uh, make sure to check out the Patreon account. Uh, there is three tiers there right now uh, and I have some surprises coming up later on. So check out that, you find a link down in the description. What I'm actually working with right now is to get first of all this support back. It's a support for the windshield. Uh, there is actually three parts, the windshield are in three parts. One in that angle, one in that angle and one that straight forward. I've actually sanded a bit down here to get it more flush and make sure that it's going to be able to put back in that right there. There is, it now might need to come up a little bit and I might be, need to sand off this surface and make it actually flush. Uh, but I'm gonna put this back with the uh, thickened epoxy in the bottom. I actually sanded this down a bit and uh, what I need to do also, I need to mask this up with some, some tape because I want to fasten this with thickened epoxy and I don't want to mess up because if you put thickened epoxy here and then trying to blend that later on with the polyester, you might end up with problems. Um, stuff is glued in there. I had to brace it pretty hard because uh, uh, I needed them to be flush to the to the roof. I'm gonna let this sit here for a little while. Yet another day here in the workshop. There is about 24 hours ago since I did uh, fare in these um, supports. Uh, I did a little bit of a no-no here. Uh, I realized that I actually pressed down one of the supports. Since I didn't get the curve of the roof really exactly as on the other side or as it was before I started the repair work, what I did was when I pushed this support that's closest to me here, uh, it uh, actually 
got the same curve as the roof. Problem is when you're gonna when I'm gonna put back the window here, there's gonna be much di this much uh, of a gap between the window frame and the support. I will take care of that. I will build up that uh, thing. I'm not very happy with it, but it's too late now. It's all f uh, epoxied in there, so it's not much I can do. It's time to remove the tape. The pieces are where they're supposed to. I sanded them off a bit because I'm gonna build, at least build this, this part up. Uh, I have to smoothen out this too. Make sure that everything is flush. This is leaning a little bit over here. But I'm gonna start preparing for the fiberglassing of this big surface. And what I need to do is actually cut up uh, all the pieces, all the, uh, the fiberglass. Uh, there is going to be a quite quite a bit extensive bit of cutting I've cut up six layers of uh, fiberglass, 300 grams, something like that. I don't want to have a, a middle part here uh, where the fiberglass is meeting uh, each other. Uh, so I'm actually thinking about doing uh, every second layer, a big piece on this side, a short piece on that side. Way I will always have them overlapping each other. So that's the plan. Well, anyway, there will be six layers, and uh, I will start doing this tomorrow. Uh, way too late for doing this today. Um, so I'm just gonna pack up here, get everything ready. Just come in here tomorrow, uh, lay these six layers of fiberglass, and uh, yeah, since I decided to um, overlay them, like I said earlier, I'm cutting out uh, the slits for the for the uh, supports uh, on three of the thinner parts and three of the wider parts, uh, and just lay them up in two piles. Uh, first one small, one big, one small, one big, and, and then so they match each other. So I don't have to. Bring up one, oh that's big, bring up another one, oh that's a small, and yeah. It's time to do the inner lining here, the fiberglassing on the inside. I have uh, done all the fairing, uh, most yellow anyway. I've done all the cutting, sanding, wiped it off with a tack rag. The only thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little, little, little bit of uh, 
wedge here. It's an edge here that I want to just get some uh, thickened uh, polyester into. Just a tad bit. And after that, I'm going to start laying the, the glass. So, well, let's start mix up some uh, a small little batch for the wedge. I'm thinking that up and uh, yeah, just let's go. I'm going to now.
took me long, hard work, six layers of fiberglass and about four and a half kilos of polyester and it's finally, finally laid. There is of course some trimmings and other stuff to do, but most of it is done. Don't forget to subscribe, like, give me thumbs up and of course check out the Patreon account. There is some really really good stuff coming up on Patreon uh, for Patreon later on. Uh, there is some announcement about a week ago, a week from now and uh, I know you re would really, really like it, so check it out. It has, has something to do with the upcoming Swedish boat show in Stockholm in March. So um, stay tuned. See you next week. Bye.